Hi dancers and welcome to my channel. I'm Jojo from Ballet with Jojo and Adult Ballet Collective and today I have a brand review for you of Repetto Paris. This is one of my favorite dance brands. Um, I'm based in Sydney, Australia, and I currently shop all my Repetto stuff at Ballet Emporium. This is totally not sponsored or anything. Um, Ballet Emporium have stores in Sydney and in Melbourne. Um, naturally, as we're all in lockdown, you can still shop online. The owner, Vanessa, is super lovely, so it's really, really nice to also support small businesses. All right, so I know you guys are all curious about Repetto Paris, so I've put my entire, I think my entire collection, into my Repetto Paris bag. How cute is this duffel bag? This is the medium size, I think it's called like the mesh bag, and it's super cute. There is a pocket in the front, I don't really use that for anything, and it's got these gorgeous um, sort of bow details on each side. What I love about this bag is the fabric. So they make this bag in three different sizes, I believe. Um, this is the medium one, so they have a small and a large as well. Um, what I love about this bag is the fact that it, because it's that mesh material, it's super light. So I don't know if you notice this about dance bags or just handbags in general. If you buy like a leather bag and you start filling it with stuff, it tends to get really, really heavy. And for dance, you're putting lots of stuff in your bag. So it's kind of nice having actually a light bag. This is also a really, really great size for me. I am four foot 11. Bags normally look stupidly big on me. So I really love this size. It's also very practical. It fits a lot in there. I was using this for my dance bag uh, for a while. The only reason why I actually stopped using it as my dance bag was um, because I had to bring my laptop and it's really not shaped for a laptop. So it kind of would end up as an awkward shape. But other than that, I absolutely love this bag. I think it's so cute. I love the color. I love that Repetto does this in all sorts of fabrics, all sorts of colors, so you can really find something to your taste. Um, but let's open the bag and start getting straight into it. All right, so first thing I'll reach for is, okay, so this is a Repetto leotard. I have, I think I have three leotards by them. This is the only one that I have in a size small, and I'll try it on for you. Um, so I think with leotards, it's always best to go and try them on in a store, if you can, because you never know, especially if um, you're trying on a new brand. I believe this is the first leotard I bought from Petto. It seems like a very simple black leotard. It's got a gorgeous square neck, but it's got these beautiful mesh details. I actually bought this leotard um, matching with a friend and we were going to wear it to Balance Ballerina's retreat <laughs> that unfortunately got cancelled because of the pandemic. So, memories. Um, but this is a really, really beautiful leotard. It looks, honestly, yeah, you're just like, oh, it's another black leotard. But when you put it on, you can really feel and see the details of this leotard. I do feel though the neckline is a little bit big for me. I'll try it on and I'll show you in a second. Um, it's also, another thing about Repetto Paris is the branding is generally really subtle. So it just has a little Repetto branding just on the back there. The leotard is also double lined in the front, uh, but not the back. But the seams um, of this leotard just makes it really, really special and also really, really flattering on. So I'll show you it on. So here's the first leotard on. When I put it on, I thought, oh, actually, the neckline's totally fine. But as I started moving around, I noticed that it did, I don't know, start feeling a little bit gapy if I was leaning over, there was a little bit of cleavage. So I'm just not really comfortable <laughs> with that. I think it looks really cute on, but if you're dancing around in it, I don't know, just for me. I do love the square neckline, the, the mesh detailing on the seams. I love the back, decent bum coverage as well, um, and the subtle detailing of the Repetto logo. So it is really a cute leotard. Um, I just feel that a lot of my chest is exposed. <laughs> so next leotard. Ooh, I was wrong. I actually think I have four leotards from them. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so the next one I have is this racer back leotard with this awesome mesh back. And it's got this really cool pattern on the back as well. I love this leotard. I actually wore it recently in my Get Ready With Me video and I wore it for like a whole, whole day of coaching. Um, super comfortable. So highly, 
highly recommend. I think I got this leotard in a extra small. Because I actually think, yeah, I think I ordered it online and I got it as a small and it was too big because I thought I was a small in Repetto. Uh, but then I tried it on, it was too big and then I went into the store and got the extra small and it fits pretty well. There is still a little bit of, um, I don't know, funny stuff going on in the neckline. I think it's literally because I don't have boobs maybe so <laughs> that's sort of my problem not Repetto's problem um, but I love the details of this leotard it looks again very basic in the front but in the back it's really special um, this leotard also has a shelf bra in it so it's got um, it's double lined just in the top and then it's got the elastic so it's not double lined all the way down but because it's got the shelf bra I actually feel really really secure in this one so really love this leotard. I find that I'm reaching towards this leotard more and more nowadays. Um, I think I've worn it to intensives and things like that as well. It's just really, really comfortable. So let's pop it on. So this is the next leotard, one of my favorite leotards. Such a cute shape, so normal and unsuspecting in the front. And then a really cute and detailed back. Um, I think this one actually has more coverage in the bum than the last one, so that's good. Maybe that's why I like it a bit more. Um, this one has the Repetto detailing just on the leg line there. Um, like I said, the only thing that concerns me is, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but there's like slight wrinkles in the elastic here. And again, like I said, it's probably because I don't have boobs that are filling it up. Um, but it does move around, so it's not completely flat um, on the top of my bust there. So that would be the only thing that I don't like about this leotard, but I love everything else about it. So next leotard, we've got this number, which I've shown you before, I think, in my matchy matchy video. So it's got the beautiful mesh kind of overlay in the front there. And then it's got a mesh back. It doesn't go super low. It's not as low as the racer back. And then it's got these beautifully detailed little straps. I love this leotard. This one's gorgeous too. This one I got in an extra small. And again, it is double lined in the front. But because it's got that seam in the front there as well, I find it very, very supportive for the chest area. Um, not that I need that much support, but it's still nice to have as an adult dancer. So this leotard is absolutely stunning. I just love it. And I love it because it's got um, these thinner straps, which um, allows me to sort of wear like more layers on top. I don't like to wear stuff with like short sleeves or anything and then put something on top after that. So it allows me to dress it up, I guess, a little bit more. All right, let's put this one on. So here's the next leotard with the thin straps and it's just got the detail of the two straps but they're um, sewn into one. It is a little bit low, I'm realizing that now, <laughs> especially if you're, oh yeah, calm over. <laughs> really cute though, really nice details. The mesh is beautiful, the support is decent. Um, this one also has a logo on the leg line. The back is just gorgeous. I do actually really like the way that this one feels. I know it's a bit exposed for me personally, but I would actually normally wear this with uh, maybe my shrug to cover my arms or like even that tight top over the top of this just to feel a little bit more modest because it is quite gapy in the top, at least for me. Um, Decent bum coverage, actually love the fabric. It, they all feel so smooth and also really, really supportive on the body. So love it. And last but not least of the leotard, I have the long sleeve version of the one that I just showed you. This one is stunning. I actually featured this one also in the matchy matchy video and I think in my top five favorite leotards. So, I'll um, link that video so you can watch that if you're interested. This leotard is just stunning. Have a look at this beautiful detail of the neckline, how it's just really straight. It's really like nice and modern. Um, and then it's got these gorgeous mesh sleeves. So it's the same mesh as that last spaghetti strap one. They go three quarters, I think, the sleeves, depending on how long your arms are. <laughs> and then um, it's got this 
gorgeous back with the low V and the mesh details as well. I really love this kind of lining, like the elastic there. It just keeps it on really well. Um, what I find about the Repetto Leotards is the comfort. I really, really like the fabric. I really like the cuts and I find them really comfortable. I find that you can dance in them all day because I've worn leotards where they're comfortable when you put them on but then as you're progressing through the day because the other day I coached for six hours started at 8 a.m. actually finished at 8 p.m. Uh, obviously I had breaks during the day but what I found was during the day um, I don't know it was fine when I put it on and then it started cutting in the arms and also around the legs um, just wasn't as comfortable after wearing it for 10 hours <laughs> But what I find with the Repetto Leotards is that they stay comfortable. So I don't know, I don't know what the secret is, but let's put this one on and I'll show you what it looks like. So I've tried this leotard on for you guys before as it's one of my favorites. So that's what the neckline looks like. It's just stunning and I love how modest this one is compared to the other version of this. Love the arms, love the mesh. The mesh is really soft and it's kind of a, yeah, it is, it's a stretch mesh which means it holds on and it's not like tight or anything. You don't feel it cutting into you. It's really comfortable. Um, the back is also just gorgeous. Bum coverage is really good on this one. And this one also has the repetto detailing on the leg line there. There you go. Okay, and next we have my only repetto skirt. Um, and it's the same mesh material as the last two leotards I showed you. It is pretty short, I'll show you what it looks like on, but it's just so cute because it really completes that outfit. I know it's probably hard to see because I'm wearing black, <laughs> but it is just such a gorgeous little skirt and it has a really nice little detail there with the R. So very, very cute. I love the fabrics that Repetto use. I think all the leotards are kind of like, they're not a matte fabric, they're more like a shiny kind of lycra. Honestly, I'm unsure of what they are, but they're really comfortable and they're really, really good for dancing, especially long hours. All right, let's pop the skirt on and I'll show you what it looks like. So here's the skirt on. It is pretty short. I've shown this to you guys before as well, um, but I just love that it matches the mesh on the sleeves and obviously the mesh on that other leotard as well. Um, I do think it's really cute with the detailing on the side there. I probably would wear this with tights if I'm wearing this to class. I wouldn't wear it without tights. Um, the mesh is really soft and stretchy, like the sleeves, um, but the waist doesn't actually have that much stretch. It's actually quite loose, so it sits a little bit lower than I'm used to. I'm used to like high-waisted everything, so it sits a bit lower than I'm used to, but the good thing is it kind of like doesn't even feel like it's there which is a good thing, I think. It doesn't move around too much. It does move around a little bit during class, but um, I find that once it settles where your hips are, so where the widest parts of your hips are, um, it's fine. So yeah, it only moves around if, like, if you're moving it around, I guess. <laughs> does that make sense? So yeah, that's the skirt for you. Now we're going into my warm-ups. So this is a super cool tights top. So it's a top made out of tights material. It is so comfortable and I love this when it's a little bit colder. Um, it's got a wide neckline which you can kind of adjust to what you need. It's kind of hard to see the shape here. But um, I think it's really, really flattering on and I've definitely worn this to class and I've worn this to coaching before and it's just great if you want to pop a top over your leotard but you're not sure what you really want to wear or you don't really want to wear a t-shirt you kind of want to wear something more form-fitting this is absolutely perfect for that and actually one of the things that i love about this top is that i love the subtle branding of repetto i can't even find it it's so subtle i can't even find it um there's just like a really nice little like repetto branding i don't know if we're able to see that just on the sleeve there's no other branding and i love that about this brand because it just doesn't shout out and it's just subtly really really elegant and really luxurious so 
let's pop this on and I'll show you what it looks like. So here's the tights top. I've actually put it over that thin strapped leotard that was a little bit more exposed in the chest. So I feel like it's made it more comfortable for me. <laughs> um, it is just tight fabric, like the tights that you wear on your legs. So it's super comfy. It kind of grips onto your body, but in a nice way. Um, I would probably wear it with the shoulders on, just like that. You can obviously kind of adapt it. Because it is that tight fabric, you can kind of play around with it and have it how you want it. So you could have it shorter sleeved, you know, um, cold shoulder, whatever you want. It's a really cute cut. I do have it tucked into the skirt because it's a bit long for me, but I could just um, roll it up. Oh, there it's a skirt. I could just roll it up as well underneath and create like a crop top with it. Because the fabric is thin and stretchy and gripping onto the body, um, it's not really going to move around that much. So I think it's a really cute and versatile addition to your um, dancewear collection, having a tights top, because you can wear the leotard that you want to wear, but if you potentially are not feeling that comfortable that day, you can put something like this on top and voila. And the next warm up I want to show you is actually a birthday gift from a friend, a really lovely friend. And it's one of my favorite warm-ups ever. It's so comfortable. It is this beautiful wrap. So this wrap is actually, let me just double check for you because it's a child 14. So like a child extra large. So it's actually not an adult's one. They do have an adult's one, but I don't believe it's pink. Um, so it's just stunning. It's one of my favorite warm-ups to wear if I want to wear something knitted and if I want to wear something that's not black. Um, you can like wrap it around the body, but I just like tying it in the front and leaving it a little bit loose and I feel like it creates this really, really nice kind of like shape. Um, it's also got a beautiful little, like just like the skirt, it's got the little icon on the back, a little charm that's sewn in. I can't even describe the softness of this knit for you. I don't believe it's wool. I do think it's acrylic, um, acrylic and cotton, but it's just ridiculously soft. There's something about it that is ridiculously soft. Um, the cut of it is beautiful. It just fits really, really well. You know, look, these are like sort of more premium products and you do pay for it, but I do believe the quality and the effort put into designing and creating these items make it worth it. So I'll show you what it looks like on. So here's the cute knit wrap. So as you can see, I've just tied it in the front instead of wrapping it around. I prefer the way that this looks like this. I actually like wearing this like a leotard with, um, Lululemon just like black tights on top and then this on top and it kind of makes you feel a little bit ballet but still fitness <laughs> so it's like this whole new subculture of ballet fitness kind of clothing um it's a hybrid but of course you can wrap it around like a traditional wrap and I still think it looks cute like that so you get the bow in the back instead of in the front um I think you get a little bit more coverage of the leotard when you do this so it kind of just ends up as a very simple wrap top. It is longer than my other wraps. My other wraps usually kind of stop where the ribs are. I do actually like that about this, especially, you know, if I'm wearing a skirt with it or anything like that, it's nice having that little bit more coverage. But I just, I love the way that this feels. I think the pink is so cute. The fabric is so soft, um, really comfortable and also really flattering. And last but not least, I want to share with you my, and you've seen this before on my channel actually, I think I wear this a lot during videos, but my Dance With Repetto sweatshirt. So I actually felt so lucky. I walked into Ballet Emporium not wanting to buy anything that day. <laughs> I think I went with a friend and they had this, lead, uh, they had this sweatshirt and it was in the size extra small, my size. And I just thought, oh, what a coincidence. It's also like literally my color, like it matches my, even my bedspread <laughs> and my skin tone. I just thought, okay, let's try it on. Put it on and fell in love. The cut of this is actually really unique for a sweatshirt. You know that I love my sweatshirts, okay? And the fabric also is ridiculously soft. Like I said, I, I find it really hard to explain it on camera. I wish I could, 
allow you to feel what all these products feel like. Um, but it's such a soft, soft fabric. The only thing I will tell you about this sweatshirt that kind of like, and it doesn't bug me, but it, I found it surprising, was that there's no elastic in the top, which is fine because it's a boat neck, but there's no elastic in the um, sleeves or in the bottom. Oh, there's a little bit in the bottom. So there's a bit of stretch in the actual body of it, but there's not much elastic kind of around the wrist and around the bottom, which a lot of other, like you'll see here, a lot of other sweatshirts have. So it's a little bit different. But that being said, I love that because it makes it different to my other sweatshirts, which makes me reach for it when I feel like it. Um, it's also got kind of like a bat wing, like a, a drop kind of armpit area um, so it's kind of got like a slouchy feel um, with these arm holes I like having it sort of halfway up my arm so it's more like three-quarter sleeve rather than long sleeved so it's just a totally different fit to my other sweatshirts which makes it really unique obviously I love the dance with Repetto print and it's reflective which is really cool again makes it unique I think this might be one of my only sweatshirts that's not black. <laughs> I do love it. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like on. Time for the Repetto sweatshirt. So this is how I would wear it. Um, I actually tuck that whole bottom part in, like underneath, because if I had it down, it kind of hugs my hips and I just think that's really weird and unflattering. So <laughs> I'm just short everywhere. So I've got a short torso, I've got short legs, I've got short arms. Um, I'm four foot eleven, so yeah, I deal with it. So I tuck it in, so it's a little bit more flattering. Um, the arms actually on me are perfect. This is an extra small. It's hilarious that they're perfect because nothing's ever perfect for me. Um, I do think though, for a normal person with normal length arms, it probably will come up to your forearm. I actually like to wear it up to my forearms because I have like my Fitbit on usually. Um, so I don't like anything that goes all the way to the end of my arms, which sucks because I've got short arms, so that's everything. Um, and I think that by rolling it up a bit, like I said, it's not elastic, but it's quite firm. So if you pull it up, it will stay there. Um, it, and it is fairly comfortable because the fabric's really soft. It's not like cutting into me or anything, but I like creating a bit more of the slouch, which you can see here. Um, I think the boat neck cut is cute, super cute. And it's just the same in the back as well. Obviously love the print. I love that it's reflective. It makes it look really unique. The color is beautiful. Um, it's really nice having something that's not black and something that I can reach to if I don't want to wear black that day. So there you go. And I did just want to show you what the bag looks like on me. So I'm four foot 11. Um, and you can see the size of it, it's super cute, this is the medium size. Love the details, love how light this bag is, it's really really good for dance. I would normally carry it over my shoulder, um, but sometimes I do it on the crook of my elbow as well, depending on what else I'm carrying, phone, drink, whatever. Um, obviously I am not currently leaving the house, so it's actually really fun playing dress ups and packing a bag and pretending I'm ready to go out. <laughs> All right, so there you go. That's my brand review of Repetto Paris. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, feel free to DM me or leave a comment below. I'm um, always really active on social media. If there's any other brands you want me to try, let me know as well because I am always so curious um, to try new dancewear and to share my experiences and my thoughts with you guys. I really hope that you do find it helpful if you are looking to purchase these brands because I've tried a lot of ballet brands, some of them um, some of them are more cheaper, some of them are more expensive, so it just really, really depends on what you're looking for. Um, I will continue to post dancewear videos because I think you guys are really interested in it, so please like, comment and subscribe because that will help me on my YouTube journey, and I hope to see you soon. Bye!